with Shandy Dejane and I'm back with another video. So if you would like to see how I achieve this look from airbrushing, stay tuned. Well on, stop right this though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn that post notification on so you could know when I drop these videos because I'm going to be posting more because we in quarantine now, so feel me? Ain't nothing stopping you, but if you would like to see how I achieve this look, keep watching this video. So, what I'm going to be doing is, I want to go get my mirror because I couldn't sleep for stuff, and I'm going to be color correcting. You want to make sure you got a concealer or whatever that is as close to your skin tone as possible like matches if you notice you look under my right eye you could see how perfectly it matches and if you look under my left eye you could see before i conceal it you can see the darkness so you want to make sure it matches your skin tone like it melts into your skin tone so i'm gonna be color correcting under my eye on top of my eye the crease of my nose and around my mouth <clears throat> and i do that because it's hard to airbrush those areas it's harder and you don't want to put it directly under your eye and it's harder to get into those creases and you don't want it to look ugly so. <laughs> i'm gonna be going with the viseart neutral eyeshadow palette and i'm gonna be using this in my crease so i'm going to blend strokes in my crease into the outer um, I am going to be doing circles, which makes it darker and lighter in the crease. Darker in the outer area, lighter in the crease. So, that's a good way to blend, to remember. So, the trick on these palettes are on beautylish.com. They're also on Muse Beauty, I think, and on... Yeah. So, this is another palette by them. These are the shimmers, I think. And I'm just putting this, like, on top of the color for... A little bit of shimmer because we don't want it to look too dramatic we want it to be soft beauty glam <clears throat> if I sound crazy I'm sick so excuse me and as you can see right here I'm just blending the two together so it just melts together and yeah so now I'm gonna move on to my tight line and I took an angled brush and from the same eyeshadow palette that was in before I just used a black eyeshadow to do small strokes as close as I possibly can to my lash line. So gonna be using the same neutral palette by Vizier and I'm going to go in with the flat brush and highlight right under my brow bone. This just gives more of a natural highlight without the shimmer and it's just like a good trick like if you just want to do your shadow like a neutral shadow and not have too much makeup on or not look like you have too much makeup on. And I'm about to airbrush. Yay! So I'm mixing my colors and I mix a R7 O7 to make a neutral and I added a tad bit of R3 and O3. I added um, a makeup wipe in front of it um, and I pressed it down and that's just mixing it together. Let me explain that better. I had a makeup wipe in front of the airbrush gun where the um, product comes through. I pressed down. And have it bat bubble as you can see so the products could mix together now I'm gonna go in strokes in the areas that I don't need a lot and in the areas that I think I need a lot I'm gonna go in a circular motion when you do strokes like it's just like paint and it's like you know it blends yeah I was having a bit of splatter so I just used my beauty blender to blend out those areas and yeah your girl coming together look at the right side of my face and check out the left you could definitely tell a difference but with airbrush it makes it look more natural it's like a softer sheen and it looks more like skin so that's why i love it so much even though i don't do it all the time so yeah for weddings and photo shoots it's definitely a plus And I'm back bubbling again because I need more product.
oh and the airbrush and liquid was from cat cosmetics and let me see how much they sell those for so the hydro makeup was like $30 a piece and the airbrush kit was like $285 so so I'm gonna be going in with the Maybelline shine free oil control loose powder and the color is light 01 and it's really good it's been working for me so far so I'm just gonna put it in the areas that I will normally bake and I'm gonna use a flat brush to press that product in because I don't want too much of a dramatic look if I want a dramatic look I would let it sit for a couple of minutes and brush it off but I'm going for a natural look today so yeah I'm gonna be adding it around my mouth to so it doesn't crease when I smile because I do have a smile line um on my nose because the make the highlight pops a little bit more and on my forehead because it tends to get shine a little bit. Oh yeah. Next I'm gonna go in with the Viseart Blush Palette 1 Plump Bronze and I'm going to bronze. I normally do this in the middle of my hair at the arch of my brow, my forehead, and under my jawline. And then I go in with a bigger brush to blend. Because you want it darker, closer to your hair. Darker at the starting and fading at the ending, if that makes sense. Next, I'm going to go into my tight line and my waterline. So, I'm going to use a light color to do my waterline and that's the inside of my eyes you want to get as close as you possibly can you can tell the difference when I cover my eyes and I'm going to use that same brush same black shadow and I'm going to get as close as possible to the lash line as I possibly can to make my tight line and you don't want to do the entire eye you want to stop before you get to your tear corner or whatever you call that I forgot because it closes up the eye and we don't want that dramatic look today it's good for smoky eyes though mascara and lashes next tell me baby how you don't talk it yeah how you don't talk it tell me baby how you don't talk it yeah i don't wanna be a player no more chopped ice medicated lip balm to get them back to life my nose kept running i don't know why my nose always runs when i do my makeup i think i'm allergic to something i'm using i don't know what it is but it just always does whenever i do my makeup Now if you're a beginner, a good way to put your lashes on is to get a smaller mirror, put it right under your eye, and get the lash as close as possible to your lash line as you possibly can. And that's the trick. website I told you guys about and I'm highlighting you could use a padding motion if you don't want so much highlight and you drag if you want a lot and of course I'm gonna drag <laughs> cheeks and then I'm gonna take a bigger brush and I'm going to blend that backwards and that's how you do your blush ladies all done 
done. We're gonna do the lips. So we're gonna do the lips and we're gonna be using the Viseart Lip O2 Classic Palette Velvet Palette. So Yep. And then we're just gonna get our beauty store lip gloss and we're gonna add that over because that makes it ten times better. Always. Money fall on you, eh, eh, banana fall on you.